The, the legal process is, is unforgivably slow, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, you can say that I mean, again. the wheels turn. It's, it's a disgrace. It yeah. really, it, there's it no is. question about that. But for, in your case, and this is for all, all, all round, but in your case, how, how long did it take before you got to some class of verdict or judgment? Two and a half years. Right. Two and a half and years. And how were those two and a half years for you? Roller coaster. Of? Up of emotions. My mental health. Up and down, up and down, walking in and out to courtrooms. I never want to see a courtroom ever again. It, it, did you feel, or let me ask you, I don't know, leading question and all that, but how, how did you feel the, the, the legal apparatus treated you as the victim in the case, broadly speaking? Not a lot of support at all. If it wasn't for the detective dealing with my case, I probably wouldn't have gone through, got through this. So you hit lucky, to want, for want of a better word, yes. a good detective the, in your the case. Guard, yeah, the guards were amazing. And um, I can't thank them enough. I really can't. The, one of the expressions, and it was, it's, it's a, an ugly expression that came up a lot this year in Irish media, was victim blaming. Yeah. Can, can you describe what that, what, is there a definition or as close as you can? Yeah. What, what does it mean? Well, victim blaming in Ireland is, is really, really bad. Constantly... We're, we're blaming victims, you know, why didn't she leave? Why did she accept that? Why didn't she walk away the first time? Why don't we change that around and start asking the question of why did he hit her? <laughs> you know, why did he do this? Yes. Because that's a choice. So victim blaming is still very much happening in Ireland. How do we fix that? that that's, that's very difficult because it's, it's not tangible. We have the conversation. We continue to speak about like this. Like this? Exactly. Yeah. We encourage younger, uh, the uh, younger generation to yeah. speak about this. And as a mom, you know, I constantly talk about love and respect, love and respect. Mm. And even in schools, universities, colleges, wherever we can talk about this, have this conversation. And